So <clears throat> I think, man, like I said, with with all the rap, they don't don't it, ain't it alarming how many different situations altogether is always happening around the rap world. I, well, I, don't, I, I, listen, I, I don't want about. no more rappers that's beefing. But you done said a lot of times, like, who want to be a rapper, put their kids yeah, in Yeah, they want to rapper. That's why I don't want to be no rapper that, you know, rapping that's beefing. They don't start off beefing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And I ain't going to even ask, because I didn't ask you about Takeoff and all that stuff, because you ain't been on here since then. Uh, but so many times people ask about that stuff, man. But I, I can say yeah, the guy pay. that they done picked up uh, when it did happen I wouldn't have never. Ain't he a DJ or something? Yeah, DJ, I'm my partner. So you know the dude. How long you've known him? Like four, five years. He, he the first person to brought Mo three to Houston. He the first person to interview Mo three in Houston on ninety three point seven the radio, the box with uh, OG Ron C. So you know, know. I him. know him, know him. Do you think he's capable of doing what they said he did? Uh, uh I I know he is, I, but I I know he go do it for a reason. So you don't you. Oh, I get it. One guy had came in the club, and I think they was trying to sh- kill, shoot him, and he ended up killing him. He already caught a, he already got a murder, a murder, had a murder. He already caught a body. Damn. And he beat. So the you torch. think his life was because his you think life it was more self defense? I know. I can see the look on his face. Look like he he not worried. Then they came and said he need a private investigator. So now the question is, who shot first? Do so you think he gonna get off? Yeah. Pat Smart. Pat will not just do that. Wow. So <clears throat> I think, man, like I said, with with all the rap, they don't don't it ain't it alarming how many different situations altogether is always happening around the rap world. I, well, I, don't, I, I listen, I, I don't about. want no more rappers that's beefing. But you done said a lot of times, like, who want to be a rapper, put their kids yeah, in Yeah, they want to rapper. That's why I don't want to be no rapper that's you know, rapping that's beefing. They don't start off beefing. It <laughs> comes, it, it, it's like, they're they're doing yeah. good, and as you rise up, the beef comes. Yeah, but so see, you can't say nah, that. But you just got to know how to conduct yourself, and, and 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 you say you can't control them. Uh, you got to know how to conduct yourself, and then you got to understand what a rapper want and what they surround themselves into around what they surround themselves with. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, you upcoming rappers, if you involved in beefs, you can't go to no club to promote your. You can't go to uh, no album release parties. You can't go talk to no DJ. I don't want them type of rappers. You know, I don't want to have to do it, and I know you ain't going to do it for yourself. Would you ever drift out of the genre of rap and, you know, yeah. deal with more yeah. maybe country or country. R&B? Or I'm kind of understanding. Mm. I'm understanding now. I understand the bigger picture. When you get a little money, you know, everything starts changing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.